Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Persona 5 Royal. And uh, yeah, we're going to go and hang out with Chahaya tonight, so that'll be fun. <laughs> One thing that I wanted to nerd out about is, oh, it looks like the girls want to hang out again too. Sorry, sorry ladies. Not right now, not right now. Um, so Adobe Premiere Pro, which is what I do my video editing in, just came out with an update. And oh my gosh, they just gave us uh, better support for H.264 hardware encoding using our GPUs. You have no idea how long I've been waiting for this. GPU hardware acceleration has been a thing in Premiere for a long time, but it's been fairly limited. Now that they've uh, really given us a good update on this thing, oh my gosh, it might cut my 4K renders in half. Just to give you an idea, a one hour episode of Persona 5 Royal takes an hour and a half roughly to render on my computer and my CPU. Now, it could be like 30 to 40 minutes. It's probably going to be somewhere around 45 minutes. Uh, we'll see when we actually uh, see if what they said is actually true on how much time it can save you. But <laughs> needless to say, I'm pretty excited about that update. Is this? I sense that you have trouble with women. Hmm. There was a woman last time too. Wait, is that? Uh, anyway, please be careful. Let's do a verification test. You're here for the verification test, correct? Well, I'm closing up shop for today. However, we... could we discuss another matter? Absolutely. Thank you very much. I'm closing up shop, so please hold on. <sighs> Vernaxan, honestly, I still believe in the existence of fate. I mean, the fortunes I see have an extremely high accuracy rate. But I suppose my divine power isn't completely absolute, huh? Do you want to test it again? Well, of course, but I'm not sure that would o I'm sure that would only end in disappointment. You know, I've wondered in the past whether fate really can be changed. But I always concluded that it was something beyond our control, almost like the laws of nature, eternal, impossible to defy. And yet there exist people like you who can ignore those laws and impose their own will upon the world. Um... How can I become one of those people, Vernaxan? Maybe by strengthening your will, but maybe that'll help. My will? Do you mean to say I'm too easily influenced by my own fortune telling? This city keeps finding ways to subvert my expectations. There was nobody like you back in my hometown in the country, Vernaxan. It was a small traditional town deep in the mountains, populated almost entirely by older people. Tell me more. During the winter, it's practically inaccessible due to all the snow. That alone should tell you volumes. The youth there are forced to be strictly obedient to their elders as well. Not explicitly, of course. Oh, and there's a small shrine in the center of the village. There I... It doesn't matter anymore. I left that place to come to this city. It means nothing to me now. After I arrived in Tokyo, I found comfort in this stone. It came from someone who dared to care about me, even though I'm just a monster with strange powers. Why do you talk like that, girl? Have some self-value. That's why I sell holy stones. I want to help those who suffer from inescapable fates similar to my own. So in other words, you were hoodwinked too. However... But now I wonder if they really do much of anything. They don't. After all, you managed to change the destinies of my clients without one. Is it truly possible to alter fate with nothing more than mere words, attitude, and passion? Hell yes. If that's the case, I won't be needing this. I'm going to confront fate head on with my own strength. Although the chairman would be really mad if he found out. Who is this chairman? Oh, um... Don't, don't worry about that. Just forget about it. Unless you want to suffer my curse, that is. Anyway, if fate can be changed, maybe even mine can be corrected, right? It didn't work for me before, but perhaps this time... It all depends on you, Chihaya. You got this. Damn, I was hoping that would give me affinity. <laughs> I'm so greedy, right? <laughs> I look forward to our continued exchange, at least until I can manage to change my fate. Oh, and I'll be sure to put some extra effort into my fortune telling for you. I can sense Chihaya's intense motivation. 
Fortune Rank 4. All right. Well then. Thank you for today, Vernaxon. Until next time. Good night. Okay, we gonna have a call with her? Maybe this is our chance. Um, I'm calling because I wanted to thank you once again for earlier. Thank you so much for today. To be honest, I'm still feeling a bit lost. But talking to you about everything is helping me feel a little better. It's either this one or the bottom one, but... She doesn't really like her home that much, so I'm glad to hear that. We'll go with that one. Damn it! <laughs> I'm learning so much from you, Vernaxon. I can't thank you enough. Thanks to you, I can finally see the truth. I can only hope my fortune telling is enough to pay you back somehow. Yeah, we didn't get her rank up, that's for sure. Vernaxon, I'll be putting in a lot of work from now on. Even though I can't even imagine changing my own fate, but I will figure out some way to make it happen. I hope I can count on you to help me through the process. Until next time. Okay. Could've gone better. Seems you've got your share of problems, inmate. Don't I know it. To think you would relax under such circumstances. Either you're quite bold, or quite foolish. Why not both? One with an unseen form. Hmm. It seems you've been targeted by troublesome company. You mean Medjed? <laughs> I've been enjoying this endless dispute over justice. However, it will soon come to an end, and through the appearance of an unexpected force of all things. Engaging with formidable enemies is also part of your rehabilitation. I ask that you overcome this. After all, you must hone your powers and become a magnificent thief. Alright. I can do that. Oh wow, that one wasn't a rank up. It's really summer now. I get sweaty just walking a little bit. I didn't think Medjed would pounce on the Phantom Thieves. Interesting things keep happening this year. The influence of the Phantom Thieves knows no bounds. I underestimated it, honestly. I wonder what the public thinks of this. Are they entertained? Or perhaps inconvenienced? Well, I mean, what are we at? 33% approval rating? So, uh... Maybe most people feel inconvenienced. <laughs> people with common sense would think that. Is that your personal opinion, too? Still, the vast majority are simply entertained by it. They've stopped thinking critically altogether. So this is what the public thinks. Oops, I don't have time for a conversation. My attendance has been poor due to interviews lately. Thank you for your valuable opinion. I'll see you around. Get it. There hasn't been any news on the Phantom Thieves versus Medjet showdown. Which of them will come out on top? They're both just criminals pretending to be heroes. If you ask me, Medjet causes way more trouble. They attack every company they set their sights on. I see. Well, I just hope something happens soon, but you gotta tell me, who do you think will win? Hey, your phone was buzzing earlier. I've gotten a lot of messages from an unknown account. Nice to meet you. I am the one they call Alibaba. I want to ask you something. You're a phantom thief, aren't you? Can you really steal hearts? Who is this? Oh my. Why does he know that you're a phantom thief? Is one of our teammates pulling a prank on you? There is someone whose heart I would like you to steal. But I'm not asking for charity. Let's make a deal. You wish to know about Medjet, correct? I can give you information on them if the change of heart is successful. If you so desire, I can take care of them as well. Do you believe in my skills? I can track down their accounts just as I have with yours, but this is all I can prove at the moment. 
I've prepared the necessary tool on my end. Look forward to it. Shouldn't you respond to it? How should I respond? Who is this? I can't find the account to send a response to. All I get back is an error message. Can't reply back. I don't know what this is all about, but we should probably let everyone know about this. Alibaba. The plot thickens. All right, we might have a way to get at Medjed now. Medjed, what is happening to this country? It'd be hilarious if the honor student fell off the podium. That is fucking rude. What a dick. <laughs> is it over for the Phantom Thieves? Hacking? I have no idea what that's like, but it sounds scary. I think they were getting a little cocky. They got what was coming from for them. Considering he mentioned stealing hearts, he knows, doesn't he? Mm, yeah, seems to be the case. Seems so. How were we found out? He may have traced our chat lock. Or Ryuji. How careless of us. <laughs> But how would he have known all these details with just that? Do you think that there is another cause? Yeah. I'm not sure why, but that's the feeling I get. Hey, is it that easy to look at someone else's chat log? I don't know much about it myself, but it's probably not impossible, I think. How's it done? Maybe they extracted our phone's data? Why is he getting an error when he tries to reply? Perhaps the receiving end doesn't exist. That's possible? Don't ask me everything. I told you that I don't know much about <laughs> it. Wait, might this be what is referred to as hacking? Then does that mean this guy's a hacker? I don't get high tech stuff. What does this all mean? An unknown hacker contacted us. I see. I don't really get it. Then, is this person Mejed? I doubt it. Considering he says he wants to deal with them. That is, only if we take his words for face value. True. Hey, wouldn't it be great if we got this guy on our side? But we know nothing about his identity at all. We can't trust him. Yeah, I'm with Makoto. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Even if Alibaba turns out to be a criminal, right. I am not helping anyone of that sort. Oh, right. That wouldn't be good. The I've prepared the necessary tool part makes no sense either. Could this just be a prank? He knows an awful lot for it to be a prank. If he knows who we are, won't we get caught? No, if he wanted to report us, I think he would have done it already. He must have some sort of objective of his own. He did offer us a deal after all. I'm certain he'll contact us again. There's no telling when he'll do so though. It'd be best if we stay together. If something happens, we can act at once. Yeah, so somewhere we can wait and hide for long hours. How about LeBlanc? <laughs> that reaction from Sajira is so good. Oh, what's with the big group? Good evening. We were thinking about putting together plans for our summer. Hmm, is that a new face I see? It's nice to meet you. My name is Makoto Nijima. I hope we're not being a bother. See, Pops? Look, she is the class president. She's an honor student. She's super smart. Look at the great friends I'm making. She's our student council president. Hell yeah. Nijima. Is something <laughs> wrong? No, it's nothing. It's just your sister. She was in here earlier. Name rings a bell, you know. A student council Threatening president, him. Eh? I'm stunned. I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. Damn it, damn I'm it, Sojiro Pops. Sakura, You're embarrassing me. But everyone just calls me boss. By the way, that was addressed to you. Uh, this old man will get going and leave you kids be. All right, the store's all yours. 
We have late-breaking news on Medjit, whose notoriety rose since their statement the other day. Just moments ago, a new message has been released on their website. They have announced their victory over the Phantom Thieves. Medjit also warns any Japanese citizens who praised the Phantom Thieves to stop doing so. We will report any further actions by Medjit as they arrive. Oh, come on! It's in English! Yeah, they're cocky, aren't they? Let me see. The Phantom Thieves remain silent at our question. This proves that we are just. Yeah, that's not how logic People works. Of Japan, wake up. You must not worship the Phantom Thieves. What? That's bullshit! Keep listening. We will discipline any who worship them. The punishment is the confiscation of possessions. We are Medjed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. That's what it says. What does that all mean? They're saying that they'll target sympathizers of the Phantom Thieves. Confiscation of possessions, hmm? Perhaps bank accounts or personal information? Either way, it won't be anything pleasant. Why the hell are we being singled out? Perhaps all they care about is labeling the Phantom Thieves as crooks. That all this wouldn't have happened had the Phantom Thieves not existed. That's complete bullshit! Talk about a troublesome organization that we've been targeted by. Isn't there anything we can do? It's certain we can't do anything about this on our own. Hey, so what's this letter about? I don't need any more trouble. It's rare for you to get something like this. A calling card? Anything else in there? Who's this from, anyway? There's no stamp on it. Someone must have directly dropped it into the mailbox here. Could it have been Alibaba? Which would mean they know where we are. It's not concerning at all. That reminds me. He did mention something about preparing the necessary tool. Don't tell me. Is this what he was talking about? What the hell's going on here? All we can do at the moment is wait for Alibaba's orders. Let's brace ourselves and stand by. In case anything comes up. Oh dear. I've really started turning the heat up on the forum. I put a special post up and everything. The showdown between the Just Phantom Thieves and the global organization Medjet is here. Reactions have been great too, everyone is really engaged. So far most of the comments have been pro Phantom Thieves, most likely because of what happened in the Kaneshiro case. Those on the other side say Medjet are hackers of justice, but there's nothing resembling justice in what they do. Someday I want, I want the whole site to be filled with pro Thieves comments. I'm looking forward to when that day finally arrives. He can look forward to whatever he wants. We have no means of striking back against Medjed. We're gonna be in deep trouble if we don't do something. Yep, we gotta figure this one out. Also, we need to follow up with Mishima after that very... Mm. ...intense ordeal in Mementos. First that Alibaba character, and now a blank calling card. What the hell's going on? So... Um, I saw a thing online on Reddit that said that if Morgana is standing up, that means you can go out. If Morgana is sitting down, that means you can do something in the LeBlanc. And if he's laying down, you can't do anything. I have something. And that blew my mind. If that's actually true, that means, yeah, we can't go out tonight because he's sitting down. Hey! Why are these hackers coming after us all of a sudden? Let's just confirm that we can't leave. Okay. All right, do we want to read a hey. book or do we want to... Okay, Guts. And what DVD do we have? It's Proficiency or Guts? I can't remember which. Oh. Yep, Proficiency. And then what's the video oh. game? Guts. All right, Guts and Proficiency. We got a lot of stuff for Guts and Proficiency. I'm not sure which stat I want to work on right now. 
Both of them are at four. Let's work on guts. Oh. Do each of the three... I think each of them give you points. Let's find out. Okay. Let's start up Starfornius. This game is about space battles, huh? So I guess this little thing here is your spaceship? Whoa, you're blasting away the enemy ships one after another. Not bad for a beginner. Oh, there are no more enemies on screen. Did you win? Hey, wait! What the heck? That thing is huge! It must be the boss! Hey, I think you're supposed to aim for the core in the middle. Try focusing your fire there. Press X enough times before the timer runs out. Okay! Nice! I didn't know I was going to be button mashing. <laughs> nice! Amazing, it's blowing up! Hey! Wow, you actually managed to beat the level. I'm impressed. I bet jumping into the enemy barrage increased your guts. <laughs> You know, there's probably a book that will make me better at games and get me three for that. So maybe I should focus on books and DVDs for now, just in case? Yeah. Well, it's getting late. Let's head to sleep soon, okay? Why haven't the Phantom Thieves said anything? Having your money stolen sounds terrifying. It's unsettling not knowing what they're going to do to us. They're declaring their victory? What does that mean? I really wish they'd stop that. Good morning. Well, how's it going, Kasumi? How you doing, girl? <sighs> Every day is so hot. I empty my water bottle so fast. By the way, summer break is coming up. Could I ask what your plans are, senpai? I mean, right now we don't really have any plans. Got nothing. I see. Oh, so you're not the type to make plans in advance, I see. Then maybe we'll have a chance to practice some more. I'll be sure to give you proper instruction. Just let me know whenever you're available, senpai. Oh, the train is here. Let's get going then. Buzzing. Did Alibaba message you? Uh, it's just Ryuji. <laughs> Ouch. Nothing? Let us know ASAP if he tries to get in touch with you, okay? Ryuji again? He just never shuts up, does he? Good day. What do you want? Ah, oh, you responded today. Once again, I am Alibaba. You are the leader of the Phantom Thieves, correct? You got the wrong guy. No, I know I'm right. I take it you received the calling card? So it really was from this guy. Are you at school right now? Nope. Are you cutting class? That's not good, you know. Excuse me? You calling me out, man? Hey, you're the hacker that hacked into my phone, buddy. <laughs> now then, I have prepared the calling card for you. When are you going to steal it? Um, steal from who exactly? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Aren't you able to steal a heart as long as you have a calling card? Tell him. We need the name of the target. I need a name. A name? Is your heart... Is your heart thievery truly impossible without such information? It is. I see. Hmm. I suppose past, uh, I suppose past calling cards did have names on them. One moment. Very well, I'll tell you. I believe their name was Futaba Sakura. If you fail in this mission, I will expose your identity to the world and to the police. Well then, I'll be counting on you. We shall speak again after the change of heart. Hold on, who is Futaba Sakura? I can't find the account to send a response to. All I get back is an error message. So he threatened you, then just took off? Sakura? I feel like I've heard that name before. It does sound familiar, doesn't it? In any case, 
We should let everyone know about this. We're gonna get reported if we don't do this? What the hell? Taba Sakura? Wasn't Sakura... It's boss's last name! And there it is. Does he have any family? Does he? For reals? How laid back are you? Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living at his place. <laughs> well, his situation does make things difficult. Calling card was delivered to boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I see. I don't they know also how knew Alibaba where to deliver the letter. Smartphone information. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. You mean... This might just be a prank? I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. So we're being tested. Regardless, I think we should ask Boss about Futaba Sakura once. That's probably for the best. There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about too. I'll check the school's roster, just in case. We must make sure Boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. Hmm? What's up? <laughs> I, uh... Hey, Pops, um... I want to meet Futaba. Why do you know about that? Oh dear. It's got nothing to do with you. Hit a nerve. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. What did we just stumble upon? Looks like it's a hit. Oh, I just remembered. Analog, were you able to ask boss about Futaba Sakura? Yeah, I tried. So, no results. Could there be a reason as to why that was? Hmm, Alibaba might be our only hope of defeating Medjet. I wish we could get some info about Futaba out of boss. But trying to force it out would probably have the opposite effect. To be honest, I owe a great deal to both boss and Analog. I don't wish for this to be a source of discord between them. Yeah, I know just what you mean. It's probably best to wait for boss to bring the subject up himself. Yeah, probably not something we want to push, right? So look, the cat's sitting down again. And we cannot leave. Okay. Okay, proficiency. You know what? I'm not going to read the book yet because we have chances to read the book on the train. So I think the DVD is my focus right now. Make sure the plant's not ready. So yeah, we'll do the deep. Oh. You know what I could do? Okay. Make 10? Holy shit. You kidding? Yeah. Well, we won't have to make lock picks for a very long time, will we? <laughs> what an efficient use of materials. You ended up with even more than I had expected. Yes. You are definitely getting better. I can tell just by watching yeah. you. Cool. We're set up with lockpicks for a while. Nice. I saw that. The way you used your hands. You did great. An extra one? Cool. Well then. Yo. 
Tomorrow's the end of the first semester, but ugh, we still got all this lame shit coming up. If you don't take care of this lame shit, you can kiss your summer vacation goodbye. Oh yeah, about this Futaba Sakura girl. If she's related to Boss, think people living nearby would know about her? That's some keen intuition coming from you, Ryuji. <laughs> you should have made use of that on your exams. Oh my gosh, so much shade. Oh, I never want to think about exams ever again. You're a mean cat. Anyway, asking around in your neighborhood might be the fastest way to figure this shit out. And again, I doubt it'll be that easy. It never is. <laughs> Summer vacation starts the day after tomorrow, but don't forget, there's an urgent assembly on Monday we'll be taking attendance. There's been an unusual number of strange incidents this year. Don't do anything stupid over break. Got it? Don't go someplace shady like the red light district, and don't go to the beach after dark. I want to go to the beach. I want to jump in some cold water. <sighs> Seems like we won't be having fun on our summer break for a while. Ryuji might be right. We don't have a single clue. Might as well try. We've got nothing to lose. Let's head to Yangon and gather info around the neighborhood. Alright, let's do it. Futaba? Futaba, yes, I know that name. Heard it somewhere before. Ah uh, yes, that was the name of the teacher I had a crush on back when I was in elementary school. Dazed old man. Alright, alright dude. Let's ask some other people too. You were no help. Sakura-san's single, right? I thought he didn't have any children. Let's ask some other people too. Can I buy sodas right now? I think I've got them this week, right? Hey. Oh jeez, fine. Fine, Morgana. Alright, anybody back here? Hmm. Did you want to listen in? Do you think the Phantom Thieves are a danger to society? Send us your opinions by email or fax. Oh, it's the radio? Uh, what's this rubbish about Phantom Thieves? They're not real. There's no way people like that are real. Hmm, can I help you? Do you know Futaba Sakura? Futaba, hmm. We do get the occasional young'un coming and poking around, but I'm afraid I don't know, th know them by name. Hmm. No luck here either, huh? Let's go ask some other people. Futaba? No, no, I don't know who that could be. Ah. What are you doing? We need to get info on Futaba first. I was gonna, I was gonna ask people in the store, Morgana. Jeez, you don't gotta be mean about it. Hurt my feelings. Futaba? Who knows? By the way, do you eat a lot? Um, what are you talking about? Well, whenever boss buys food, it's enough to feed three people. What? You're telling me you don't actually eat that much? Maybe it's the boss who eats a lot then. Interesting. Futaba? Who's that? I don't think I know anybody by that name. Hmm. But wouldn't this Futaba get angry if they find out you're snooping on them though? I mean, maybe. Futaba? Hmm. Nope. Don't know anyone like that. I come to Sakura-san's often to make deliveries, but I've never seen who you're talking about. So, up until now, our biggest lead seems to be the chief buys a lot of food. Far more than enough for one person living alone. Let's check out all the shops where you can buy food. I, I tried doing that earlier, Morgan, and you got mad at me. Are you going to get mad at me this time, too? This place is close to LeBlanc, so we might be able to learn something here. Hey there, welcome. Hmm, Futaba? Over at Sakura-san's? Oh, we got ourselves a hit. I haven't heard oh. anything. Uh, sorry. Never mind. Come again. Hmm. We didn't find anything on Futaba. I think our only option now is to go home and ask the chief directly. Not sure that's a great idea, but we're kind of out of options. Oh, <sighs> there she is again. You read the letter, did you not? So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. 
Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? What? Whoa. Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% though. Whoa, Sai. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. <laughs> You're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it! We're extremely serious about this. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. So many things. Fine. You win. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. We got the name Wakaba. We heard the name Futaba. We heard an allegation of abuse. We heard the term cognitive science. Linked to psychotic breakdowns. A lot's going on here. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. Damn. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. Ice Queen over here. And stay out! That woman is real good at pissing people off. <laughs> What's with that look? You got something to say? What was that, Pops? This doesn't involve you. Is Futaba your daughter? Uh, that's enough! Just behave yourself, and keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. You got that? Lock the store up. Well, that basically confirms Futaba exists, at least. But it sounds like she's got her own problems. More so, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? I wonder what the chief's hiding. We can't really press him on the subject, though, especially after he mentioned throwing you out. Yeah, we uh, ruffled his feathers, that's for sure. Yo, how'd it go? Did you find out anything about Futaba Sakura? I've been wondering about that too. At the hideout, okay? Whoa ho! So you did learn something. Fine work. I knew we could count on you. Analog Coon, thank you. Alright, then let's all, all meet up tomorrow. I can see it. Okay. Cat's sitting again, so we can't go out. Oh! Go ahead and watch a DVD. There's sulfur leaking from the tank. We need to do something fast. It's fine. I'll just use this chocolate. See? The acid and the sugar are reacting. <laughs> it's a story about a man who never gives up, beating all odds with science and ingenuity. Wow. He fixed the tank's crack with chocolate? How does he stay so calm at a time like that? Hey, hey! The protagonist knew just what to do despite the crazy situation. Maybe you learned some proficiency. Hmm. Alright, we need to work on kindness. It's the only oh. one that's not at four yet. It's starting to get late. Let's head to bed soon, okay? A woman was threatening boss? Huh. Yeah. She was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. You wouldn't believe it. Her name was Sai. She was really hot and incredibly menacing. Oh. What's up? It's nothing. So to summarize what you told us, Futaba is boss's daughter and he's abusing her? I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? There's no way. It's a threat. That's all it is. There's no way. Can't see Sajir doing that. I would like to believe so as well, but we don't have any conclusive evidence, do we? Is it Alibaba? 
I've given you a calling card and told you the target's name. You should be ready for this. Why aren't you doing it? I told you I'd help you if you stole her heart. What seems to be the holdup? I also said I'd report your identity to the police if you didn't help me. Are you okay with that? I'm serious here. What a selfish person. Well, he does have information on us. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, I need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about him. <laughs> None of these would make sense to somebody who didn't know how we were doing this. Tell me your keywords. Keywords? What are you talking about? Are you just saying random stuff to dodge the issue? What are we supposed to do about this? So clearly there is a limit to the knowledge that Alibaba has. But we already knew that because uh, he also didn't know that we needed the name, so. We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. Let's meet somewhere. Meet? With me? That will be difficult. I have reasons for not being able to go out. That's why I'm contacting you like this. He can't go out? Wait, I get it. You steal people's hearts directly. That might make things difficult. Extremely difficult. One moment. I'm thinking. Okay, it's a shame, but I'm calling this deal off. Stop looking into Futaba Sakura. Forget this ever happened. I won't report you to the police either. Don't worry. Sorry for taking your time. Now if you'll excuse me. Out. Wait a second. I said the deal's off. We're never going to speak again. Don't expect me to contact you anymore either. Um, why are you doing this? And... Error message. Huh? Did he just shut the whole operation down? Wow. This doesn't make any sense. Not only can Alibaba not go out, but he won't let us meet Futaba either. Well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. But what do we do about Mejed? We won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now. Maybe they were just pranking us. They made that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. <laughs> I bet we got them freaked out. You mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep. And now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. But... I guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? You do have a point. I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. Oh yeah! Remember Kaneshiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown! We got 150,000 yen out of it! Oh! Pretty good, actually. <laughs> Damn! That's awesome! We can really go all out with that kind of money! Yeah! Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. We gotta go eat something fitting for the Phantom Thieves' worldwide debut! Where would be good? Ooh, how about sushi? I could really go for some eel, too. Oh, don't make me hungry. The best method oh. is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. Ha! Really, you don't Yusuke? Need to do that this time. Actually, definitely don't do it. Okay. Yeah, that sounds awful. That's a lot of ginger, my man. I'm all for sushi. You're okay with that too, right? Sushi's fine. Then it's decided. All right, we'll go tomorrow night. I wonder if all that Medjed business was just a prank. Now that I think about it calmly, it's strange that they haven't actually done anything yet. If their goal is to target the Phantom Thieves, they should want to be acting now, given our fame. Huh, when you put it that way, it kind of makes me wonder too. Especially after they taunted us theatrically like that. Yes, however, it would be best for us to come up with a countermeasure regardless. For now though, we should cautiously enjoy the sushi. That is all we can do. I don't know, man. Something's not quite right. I was thinking that too. I can't really put it into, put it into words, though. Hmm. Yusuke is right. I'm sorry for bringing this up on the day before our celebration party, too. Cheer up, Makoto. We'll be eating sushi like kings tomorrow. I hope one person in particular is on their best behavior. I'll refrain from saying who, though. We all know who you're talking about, Yusuke. You better not be talking about me. 
<laughs> I love it. Okay. I love that we at least can do things while we're in story mode, you know? Oh, it's summer. Windows are open at night. Um, okay. Did training give you proficiency or... No, it doesn't give you anything except HP, I think. Um, okay, oh. let's go ahead and watch this other DVD. And now we've watched all of the DVDs we can until uh, yeah, the DVD place gets more. How are we going to rig an alarm now? Whoever said you need electricity to make an alarm? Give me that empty soda can. I'll just tie it to this string. It's a story about a man who never gives up, beating all odds with science and ingenuity. Mm. This guy makes all sorts of tools with whatever he has on hand. Impressive. Oh. So we finish watching Guy McVer. <laughs> hmm. Uh, that's so dumb. I love it though. Okay. Let's go return the DVD soon. Well then. It's starting to get late. Let's head to bed soon, okay? You seem quite busy, sai -san. I take it you're stuck in the middle of everything? The Phantom Thieves made a mockery of us when they brought down Kanashiro. And to make matters worse, Mejid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. How much more can they screw us over? Stress is bad for the skin, you know. <laughs> Did you come all this way simply to be sarcastic? <laughs> How about you listen to my deductions for a change of pace? You may think it absurd. But, don't you think the case you're pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? What are you basing this off of? The one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at the beginning that this was only a deduction. These just Phantom Thieves are riling up the public. However, that is a disguise. Their true goal is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. Is that too much? Whew, catchy. There's nothing at the moment that falsifies that claim. Have you mentioned this to the police? I'd never tell them such things. The only value they have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. Hmm. It seems having you lend me a hand has paid off. I'm glad to hear that. What about your case, sai -san? Yeah, that's a, that's a path that's wrong, so we don't want her going down that path of thinking. Did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Nothing at all. I see. That mental shutdown victim's daughter. Mm-hmm. Now, what should my next action be for our victory? Handle the Phantom Thieves, without remorse. Use any means necessary to win. That's how I would deal with them. <laughs> Very well. This seems to be fun for you. Are you on to something? No, not at all. Well then, to our victory. Okay. Time for sushi. This place is in Ginza, right? Do we take the usual train from Shibuya? Famous for luxury shopping, its property values are the highest in all of Japan. The forefront of trends. Aside from the shops, cafes are aplenty. If you're tired from shopping, get tea. Alright. Oh my god, it's making me hungry. I want to go to Japan just to get, like, Man, real sushi. The flounder is out of this world. Mm. That texture. Uh, I don't see any prices listed here. It's called market price. Don't worry about it. We got the cash. So good. <laughs> hey, is the fatty tuna ready yet? your horses and don't talk by the way 
Is Boss really the kind of person who would abuse someone? That again? I can't get it off my mind. Especially if it means he could be taken to court. What kind of person is he? Do you truly believe he'd do such a thing? Once again, no chance. Hmm. If it's really true about the abuse, he'd be a no good jerk pretending to be a guardian. Maybe the chief is the one who needs a change of heart. Hold on a sec. About that. I actually got curious after our conversation and checked his name in the nap. And? It sounds to me like there wasn't a hit. Right. Anything beyond this is his family's problem. What relief. We probably shouldn't get any more involved. Wait, you think Alibaba could be Boss's ex-wife? <laughs> he must have cheated on her, and that's where Futaba came from. Whoa, Ryuji. There is nothing to back up any of what you just said. Doubtful. <laughs> Your imagination has run rampant. How foolish. Poor Ryuji. Mm. Still, this is delicious. I've never experienced anything quite like it before. Man, and it's all thanks to us being the Phantom Thieves. Damn it, Ryuji. Damn it. Crap. Uh, um, the fan fantastic This sushi is delicious. <laughs> well, Makoto's acting is clearly just as good as Ons is, so, um... Yay, we're saved. <laughs> yeah, the fish is so fresh. Two peas in a pod, those two. Everywhere we go, we hear about these phantom thieves. What rubbish. Think about where we are, Ryuji. Sorry, it just kind of slipped. My apologies for bringing up boss again. We should just enjoy the food. Ijima-san, what are you doing here? Akechi-kun. Akechi? You're the ones from the TV station. Could it be that you're friends of Nijima-san? Do you know this guy? It's nice to meet you. My name is Akechi. Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kitagawa. He knows his name. How do you know my name? Well, because I'm a psychic, of course. <laughs> I'm only joking. In truth, I'm a rookie detective. You're a former pupil of Madarame, right? I have actually just recently joined the investigation team looking into the Phantom Thieves. Did you see that Mejed has declared war on them? War? Their website was updated just a moment ago. For real? Die English again! Guys, play it cool. Play it cool. What? What's it say? Huh. Why do you seem so agitated? They didn't play it cool. Oh, um... She's, uh, a huge fan of the Phantom Thieves. A total nut job for him. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I don't know how wise it is to be a fan of groups like them. What is with these comments? My apologies. I didn't mean to butt into your conversation. I must say, this is an interesting group. Prosecutor Nijima's sister, an ex-pupil of Madarame, and a few Shujin Academy students. It seems you're all connected to the Phantom Thieves. Perhaps you have better intel than I do. Ah, yes. I wanted to ask you something. Regarding this whole Mejed commotion, if you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do? <laughs> Akechi, you clever dog, you. I mean, what do I care about it? Unsurprising. I suppose you aren't interested in such gossip. Sorry to disappoint, but we're just normal high school kids. If anything, we want to hear what you got to say, Mr. Detective. See, that's actually a My pretty clever turnaround, Ryuji. has led me to believe they are a group of juveniles. They have a relative amount of free time after school and a hideout to slip away to. Furthermore, considering Kamashita was their first target, it seems they began activity around April. In a way, all I've just said about the Phantom Thieves coincides with the group you have here. 
<laughs> what? You gonna report us? I didn't say I was being suspicious of you. Man, they cannot play it cool. Really? Well, that's good to hear, Ketchy. <laughs> Seems you're not perturbed in the slightest. You really are an intriguing one. I lack your calm mannerisms, but don't you think my deduction is an interesting one? I bet we'd make a great team if we worked together. <laughs> that's a fun what? line. What the hell are you saying? <laughs> well, this has been a valuable point of reference for me. I hope to see you all again. Ketchy's playing a game of 4D chess over here. What was that about? Do you think he's ascertained our true identities? Nah, couldn't be. Right? I'd like to say that it's simply us overthinking this, but maybe best to be cautious from now on. We shouldn't forget that Alibaba was able to discover who we are. True, but it's not as though he had tangible evidence to prove that discovery. Just keep acting normally. More importantly, things are getting serious with Medjet. Oh yeah! What did they write? Here, I'll read it. We are disappointed in the people of Japan and their belief in the Phantom Thieves' false justice. Hence, we shall proceed with our plan to cleanse Japan. This process will commence on August 21st. As a result, the Japanese economy shall suffer devastating damages. For real? Keep going. However, we are magnanimous. We will give the Phantom Thieves one final opportunity to repent. As proof of this repentance, we demand that they reveal their identities to the public. We will attack oh. if these demands remain unmet. The future of Japan rests with the Phantom Thieves. We are Majed, we are unseen, we will eliminate evil. That's what it says. Mm, sounds bad. In other words, if we don't unmask ourselves, Medjed will attack Japan, correct? And it seems they are quite the attention seekers. What are we going to do about this? Only we could get in contact with Alibaba. Our only clues are Boss and Futaba. Anyways, it's too damn hot out here. Why don't we go to Leblanc? We can talk more over there. We went through all sorts of options on our way here, but looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. Question is, how do we get in touch with him? He cut off all contact with us after that misunderstanding. Then again, if we manage to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. Damn it, Alibaba! Where the hell are you? Actually, he may be closer than we think. Huh? Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? Would he truly be able to discern that just from cell phone messages? You mean he'd have to meet her in person? Alibaba was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, he can check on Futaba's condition. However, according to the circumstances he put forth, he's unable to meet with us. This leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. It seems to me, Alibaba may in fact be Futaba herself. For <laughs> real? So she's asking that we steal her own heart? But why? Maybe she wants us to save her from the scars of her abuse. That would be hard to ask directly. Also, can we just uh, point out how smart Makoto is, and she's just the best, and I love her? I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives nearby, right? I know where his house is. I agree. It's real late, though. What are we gonna tell Boss when we get there? We'll say this takeout sushi is a gift for him. But my fatty tuna! <laughs> no complaining. Oh. Let's poor all go kitty. together. Boss may get the wrong idea if he and I show up alone. Thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Have a good one.